What's going on, guys? How you doing? Hope you're a good Friday, beautiful day here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Carolina blue skies, 68 degrees. Great weather. It's going to be chilly this weekend. Yeah, this is the home of State College, uh, otherwise known as the uh, NC State Redneck. Well, Wolfpack. We'll, we'll go with that. They're celebrating their 40th anniversary of their 83 championship. They celebrated at year 39, 38, 37, 36, because it's the only, it, it's all they've got. You got to feel bad for them a little bit. It's all they have to really hang on to. They roll these guys out there in wheelchairs and bringing them in from the nursing home and getting them out on the court. And Carolina and Duke got about 12 or 13 of these championships between them. We do these celebrations all the time at those two schools. Hall of Fame coaches for the last 50 years. Uh, State College changes their coach about every four or five years because they run them off. Um, for not being successful. They're doing okay this year, but uh, they're not going to win the championship. Never going to win another one, in my opinion. Um, that's just that's just how the Wolfpack roll. But anyway, guys, watch this video. Uh, it's a lesson in complacency and not making assumptions and always taking that extra little step to see what else could possibly be wrong and causing your problem. All right, guys, this is a train two stage 18i straight AC unit, no cooling. This is a two story house with zoning upstairs zone, downstairs zone. And uh, we are here because they don't have any air conditioning. I uh, switched it to cooling and nothing worked. So I'm um, working a little short handed today. I left the GoPro at home. So anyway what i'm noticing is the contactor is pulled in so let's verify whether we have voltage and no voltage So we are in the on position. Let's see if we have any voltage here. And check the other terminals. and no voltage so i guess we're gonna go find the breaker but before that i'm gonna take this cover off and just confirm so our supply voltage is coming in here our unit is coming there and these wires are connected to our line in no voltage let's go find out why all right guys now we're back out here to the panel it has the AC breaker in it. As you can see, we have 245 volts feeding the panel. 245 volts feeding the breaker. The breaker is in the on position. And we have zero volts. I don't even have going to ground. One leg of power on this breaker. So, 
bad breaker strikes again. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, so you saw that video and stopped, kind of stopped there at the breaker. <clears throat> I was getting things together. It just, the breaker was in the on position. Typically, when they trip from a problem, they're stuck in the middle somewhere. They're not still fully in the on position most of the time. So I played with that breaker a little bit, turned it back. I just decided to go back and check. I turned it on off. About the fifth or sixth time, I turned it off and on. About the fifth or sixth time I turned it off and on, I got power to that disconnect box. And I thought, well, I've got power to it. I'm still thinking maybe I've got a breaker problem. So let me go ahead and run this thing and see if I can get it on, get it running. So at least I have something until we can get back with the breaker. Um, I was going to run up the road, actually, and then pick one up, come back and put it in. And so well, let me get it and see if it runs real quick. And... This is what I found. One, two, three. So you can see there, got a compressor problem. Now, yes, I did all mount the windings. This is 1.1. Uh, 1.5 and like 2.5 so the windings in the compressor are owned out fine um, nothing was shorted to ground that thing just locking up on the inside springs in it bearing something something wrong in it pulled real high amps when it kicked on and it ran and then it just went out after what five seconds so it just lets you know if you have that sometimes you have that gut feeling you leave a house you think you got something figured out, but you just you have that little bit of a doubt. That's there for a reason. It's Friday. You can be complacent, and then I just want to get out of here. I got this. Ad, we need a breaker, and I'll go back and get a breaker. And get if I'd have gone and got that breaker and came back and then put the breaker in, I'd have found that anyway. But sometimes going that extra step or two will keep you from making a mistake. And that's just a lesson that we all make them. Nobody you're going to see on there making videos is perfect. I was about to walk away from that thinking I had a bad breaker. And just something didn't feel right. And if you have that feeling, go back. Check a little further. Dig a little deeper. Um, like I said, I just assumed it was the breaker because I turned it was in the full on position. I didn't have a leg of power going through either side of it. So, um, But I just, I just had that something you know when you have that typically you, you got something else going on and it's a good idea go back and investigate it and, ver and verify whether you do have anything going on so yeah i turned that thing on and off a few times i got power found out the compressor was the problem so just remember that guys take that extra step or two once in a while don't be complacent don't be uh, don't have that friday frame of mind um, it's Friday. It's been a long week. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call this a breaker. Um, or what I call, I'm going to call it a capacitor or whatever you want to call it. Good chance is another problem. So have that video for your stash. And uh, for all you NC State fans watching, I apologize. But, I mean, guys, come on. The truth is the truth. And that's the way it rolls around here in the triangle. You got Carolina. You got Duke world famous hall of fame coaches nba players loads of national championships they both own nc state i think gosh nc state yeah nc state beat carolina twice this year you now have won about seven or eight out of the last 42 games against carolina and i believe carolina's overall record against you guys is like 141 and 60 or something like that. It's just ridiculous. Um, you guys don't own anybody. You're having a good year. Congratulations. You deserve it because you haven't had one in decades. About five decades, guys. Think about that. That's a long time. So you guys eat some cake, chew some tobacco, drink some Budweiser this weekend, and celebrate break your season. 
Now, it's about time to get the tractors tuned up. So don't don't you be complacent about things. But, uh, hey, if you guys need any assistance and uh, advice on being a successful college program, just go to Durham or Chapel Hill. There's loads of that over there. You might learn something. But congratulations on your on your 40th anniversary of your national championship team. It's uh, it's been a long time, guys. A long time. And you know what? It's going to stay a long time because you're not going to win another one. Go Tar Heels and uh, like, subscribe, and uh, have a good weekend.